welcome to a clash of kings this is arcade night and i am so excited to get this let's play series underway game of thrones one of my favorite series also i love all the books um and i've been playing uh, this game since uh, the, the mod since version 0.6 so i'm familiar with it and i was just waiting for 1.2 to come out to start playing it and i am so excited to explore all the new features with you guys out there now what i thought we'd do is we'd start this series in dorn and uh, i thought we'd join their faction and play with them for a little bit i thought it'd be kind of interesting haven't seen a lot of that on the internet and since hbo has just introduced dorn as a new faction and Oberyn martell as a new character i thought this would be a great opportunity to explore dorn even more we're also going to check out all the new features that i think are really cool about this mod in this episode and then of course we're going to do all the new quests and one day we will roll now let me tell you a little bit about what we're going to do from a role playing standpoint um there's Oberyn martell right now we're going to go and we're going to talk to him very soon but from a role playing standpoint what i thought we'd do is we'd play house rain now if you're not familiar with house rain there the house in the song um the the reigns of castamere and uh, basically if you're not familiar with the story they were a house in the Westerlands, and uh, they basically uh, pissed off uh, Tywin at Lannister, and he essentially destroyed their house. And that happened uh, quite a few years before the books or the series started. But I thought, wouldn't it be cool if somehow one of the relatives survived and escaped down to Dorne, right? Because who hates the Lannisters more than the Martells? <laughs> I think nobody and what if he escaped down to Dorne has been living there ever since and now he's ready to take his rightful place as a lord down in Dorne and to one day revenge his house destroying House Lannister and Tywin Lannister himself and maybe hopefully become king himself and take over King's Landing and you know, so forth so on so that's what I thought we would do with this series um, and I named him Rob Rain if you look Rob Rain was one of the most famous uh, sons of the Rain house um, and was the interesting fact about him what he did was he actually during the Blackfire Rebellion uh, actually joined the side of the Blackfires uh, so some history I think with the house they've always been kind of rebellious and I thought this was kind of just perfect. So let's go talk to Prince Oberyn Martell and let's see if he'll let us join. Yes, hi, my name's Robert Rain. I am Prince Oberyn Martell, the ruler of Dorne and the lord of Sunspear in Plinky Town. I see that you carry a nobleman's banner, but I do not recognize the device. Still, it's always worthwhile to make the acquaintance of men who may one day prove themselves to be great warriors. Well, um, I wish to offer my sword. I know you are a brave warrior and a fine leader of men, Rob Rain. I shall be pleased to accept your sword into my service. All right, I'm ready. Then repeat my words. I pledge a homage to you as lawful ruler of Dorne. I will remain as loyal and devoted man as long as my breath remains. And I'll be at your side to fight your enemies should you need my sword. Finally, I will uphold your lawful claims and those of your legitimate heirs. Very well, you have given me your solemn oath, Rob Rain. May you uphold it always with proper courage and devotion. Let it be known, yes, yes, yes. So, boom. So what has he given me? Green Crest. Sweet. You have great hopes for me. Sure you do, sure you do. So Green Crest, where is Green Crest? Oh, well that is fantastic. It's just right here. So I thought we'd go check out Green Crest real quick. And then I was going to show you my character. Uh, I'm only at level six. I haven't been uh, playing the game long. I think I'm, I don't have to check. I'm not very far in, but only level six. Um, you know, typical, really focusing on strength. Um, I have a little bit, uh, you know, a point in wound treatment, focusing on one handed to begin with. Um, I tell you, I've played a lot of the versions, and this seems. Um, the archers are it seems more powerful than in previous versions um, so that's something to keep in mind I was kind of surprised when I first started playing it I was used to uh, 
playing it from a certain uh, playing it a certain way and then it seems like things have kind of changed in this version uh, which are for the better because I think it's extremely fun been having a great time leveling up my character well this is a cool little village look at that look at this oh, there's a little piece down there a little piece up here village elder hello hello I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about that too much right now let me uh, put my helmet back on so I built up a little bit of money I built up a decent uh, size army um, my 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 equipment's not great I've got a f decent sword um, that I was able to pick up made a, a little bit of money just been fighting a lot of battles uh, been killing a lot of looters just selling a lot of stuff trying to get as much money as I can I've also done a few minor quests here and there to gain some money but I didn't want to do anything too big because I wanted to save it, you know, of course, to do it on camera. So, what I thought we'd do is, um, I have two companions. I have Gardner Pike, and, and we just got out of a battle before we, we joined Dorne, and I also have Brendan Storm. Brendan Storm, um, I'm going to keep him in infantry for now, but uh, he is going to be my medic. And Gardner Pike, uh, kind of training him up uh, to one day be, you know, just a loyal guard. Uh, I got him working on one-handed sword and archery, and uh, Brendan Storm. I think we're gonna do one-handed sword and um, crossbow in the future. But these guys are, phew, you know, pretty weak right now. Um, but you know, got a decent, you know, little force. I've only really got one mounted troop, and then the rest are just, uh, you know, typical. All the way from the Westerlands to uh, Dragonstone, Riverland, uh, Crossbowman. Just picked up, you know, from odds and ends, little battles here and there. Um, so, I thought we'd get in a little trouble today. Um, see if we can... Oh, there he is. See if we can find some looters out here to battle. And kind of explore that a little bit. No, oh, my goodness. My oh, like and, pfft. There you go. I don't even have to ask for it. There it comes to me. Now, who who we have? Oh, you have... Oh, 21. We'll take care of him. Okay. Well, let's do this, and then we need to get some food quick. So, let's do this. Let's put my infantry here, my orchards here, um, my one mounted troop. Follow me. Oh, looks like they have nothing but mounted troops. We could be in trouble here. We have to do a lot of a lot of work in this battle. Take him down. Oh buddy. Oh missed him. Got that guy. Alright, we're doing we're doing we're doing fair. We're doing fair. Trained up my guys. Decent enough. Whoops. Good job, guys. Good job. Oh. Watch my back. Yeah, I'm just... Not very strong. Weapons not f not great. Time to dismount. Come on, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. How we go charge? Get that guy. Oh, nice, nice job, infant. Archers. <laughs> Excellent job. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Who we lose? Oh, we lost the Dornish. Oh no, we just lost two self sword archers. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, great. Um Yes. Yes. Let's upgrade. Mm. Tell you what I do need. I need some cavalry. Anything good? No. Nothing better than what I have. Let's um, form the upgrade and pick up the rest of this junk. Let's uh, 
See if we can go over to Yornwood, are you? You wanting some? We'll give you some if you want it. Go over to Yornwood and let's sell some of this stuff and I need to feed my guys. Oh, it's just a castle. My bad. See, no one wants to join me. Hmm. Let's see if we can buy some food here in Sea Market. Oh, okay. Well, let's buy some cabbage. I don't want to buy that. That'll just rot away. Sure. There you go. Well, that's one of the interesting things about... What is this? Is this a town? Uh, it doesn't say if it's a town or not. I don't think it is a town. Hmm. Tell you one thing we should do, though. It'd be interesting to... We should build relations, right? We should build some... Re oh, no! They were waiting for me. Oh, this is going to be a close one. It's going to be a close one. All right, men. I need to go to that feast, so... Let's get out of here quickly. Because I am starving. More starving than you are. All right, all right. That is a lot of horses. That is a lot of horses. Kill the horses first! Ooh. This is gonna be bad. Die! They have a great way of turning right at the last possible minute to put you off of your uh, your target. Looks like once we get them off their horses, oh, come on, they're quick. Quick. All right, men. Good work. Well, this guy is causing problems. Oh, there's a level. Sweet. Okay, so we've got two guys here. I don't think so, sir. Oh, you about to hit that rock. Oh, and I missed you. Yeah, traffic jam over here. Come back here. Man. Everybody just charge, because this guy is impossible to catch. There it is. <laughs> there it is. This slippery little devil. Finally got him. My goodness. My goodness. <laughs> Is there more? One last guy. Alright, men. We've got this one. They thought they were going to ambush us before we went into our feast, but no! This guy's just hanging out. Oh, you took my kill, man. That's cool. That's cool. I already leveled up. All right. Fantastic work. So what do we lose? We lost a lot. So let's see. Swordmen. No archers. That's good. That's good. Ooh. Ooh. Well, not as good as my swords, but I think my guys will pick that up. That is... Not as good as horse. Uh, yeah, my horse is a little bit better. Ooh, let's see. Well, I tell you, that one looks better. But the armor eh, is not as good. I have nine on the legs. And then 38 on the body. This is another... Yeah, it's 34 down on the body. But I know who will like those. So... Someone picked up a sword. 
that's good and that's oh man I need to uh, increase my inventory management here so let's just get rid of something that's just yeah that's fine I'll pick that up that's more money and they'll pick that up anyway do a quick save here um, let's upgrade my character. I'm so excited. So I've been focusing on strength a lot lately, but, and I'm trying to get, you know, my Iron Flesh Power Strike up. So if I did that, I would still be away from that. If I did that, I can bring up my Weapon Master, which I think that's what I want to do. Bring up my Agility so I can put one more in Weapon Master. Just put some more in One Handed and secondary two-handed weapons um, all right so let's move on from there do I have these guys have not upgraded yet but look at him you're looking spiffy now you're looking nicer than I am uh, can we upgrade these guys I'll just upgrade that one guy can I upgrade some archers uh, that's not too expensive these guys a little the expensive side hmm good pikemen are hard to find um, and I really, I wanted to try out the Dornish Skirmishers. I haven't played much with the Dornish. That was another reason why I wanted to give them, give them a try. Uh, I don't think the Dornish get enough love. Uh, you know, they're, they're not really involved in a lot of the wars. But, you know, as I build relationship with Oberyn Martel, I'm sure I could change that. Uh, but also gives us a good opportunity to just kind of build up some money, do some questing. And uh, we'll definitely do some fighting. So, what is the closest town? I just don't know. I could, could just go back. Well, let's let's do this. Let's check out to see. I think Hellholt is a town. Oh, am I getting? We'll looks like we're gonna have another battle here. Well, we're going to clear out <laughs> all the looters, you know, all the, any kind of, kind of evil troops that are on the road today. We're going to clear those guys out, it seems like. They're coming after us, so we just have to clear the way. All right, so let's get, let's get our guys situated here. Let's see how many horsemen are going to come after us. All of them. Okay. <laughs> well, now I'm a little worried. Here they come. All right, come on, guys. Come on, come on. Bastard! <sighs> I think I think horse archery is probably God that guy is probably the main focus of the Dornish troops, but I could be wrong. I haven't haven't really studied up on on in this mod exactly how the troop tree works, especially for the Dornish. I'm somewhat familiar with Dragonstone because I've played them a few times and familiar with the um, a lot of the factions from the, the continent of Essos, but uh, the Dornish I am not that familiar with, so ah, missed you. So we're gonna be exploring this faction together and exploring all the new features of 1.2 together. That's what is so exciting to me. Ah, uh, he disappeared. Alrighty. Well, pff, bye. Well, that was, uh, that was just splendid. Thought we were going to get demolished, and, uh, we really came out of that pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Who did we lose? We lost one Westerlands Billman. Alright. Ooh, I will hire you, and then let's grab you guys. And I, I'm, I'm hoping... Hey, let's see, uh, 
So I'm going to pick up that horse. Yeah, I don't think he's got... Um... Oh, that sucks. What have we got? Definitely taking that horse with me. What's the cheapest thing I have? Boom. Give me that. Can I... I'll trade you for that. And I'll trade you for that. Trade you for that. Good enough. Alright, so let's... Oh, Gardner Pike has leveled up. Okay, so... Let's talk about Gardner Pike. Let's talk about your skills. So where are you at? So you obviously automatically need some more strength. And then we're gonna we're gonna put some power draw, but let's just get you competent first. So your writing's at two, that's fine for now. I think I'm gonna just mainly focus you on just being a brute or, or, or loyal guard, you know, maybe a king's guard in the future. So, um, yeah, I think, uh, well, maybe we'll just put one more in shield for now. I know you don't have a shield yet. Uh, you know, you don't have a shield yet. You don't even have a, I mean, it's really hard to give you anything at this point. Let's just give you one more in riding. And let's upgrade one-handed. And maybe you can, uh, let's see your equipment. Let's, so what you've got. So now you can ride a better horse. What's this? Twin well look at this horse. This horse is better. Hit points. That one's faster, but no. We are good to go. So do another quick save here. So I'd like to get to a tavern and, and, and show you Is Hellhold? Yeah, let's try to get to Hellhold. Is that a town? No. <laughs> There's probably not many. I, I know that Planky Town and Sunspear are. So it could possibly be that we're going to be spending a lot of time um, on that eastern tip of Dorne. Oh, who, how many are you? Okay. <laughs> Come on, guys. Just, just bring it. Just bring it. I have a hardened group of troops here that are ready to fight. Where are they coming from? There they are. I'm, I'm sure it's 23 guys on horseback. Right? Am I right about that? Mm-hmm. Okay, come on, archers. Come on. Come on. Dragonstone, longbowmen. Westerland longbowmen. They've got good range. There we go. There we go. Oh, that hurt. Okay, I'm in a bad spot here, guys. This is, this is a bad spot to be in. Alright, come on, men. Oh, no. You are not going to do that anymore. Guess you are. Hard terrain to fight on. Bumpy. Get him. There you go. Oh, you're coming with me, buddy. Come on. Come on. Woo. All right. So this is almost over. Thank God my men are on point today. Come on, you sneaky little bastard. Yep, you are sneaky. There we go. And another another level. Excellent. Excellent. Good work, men. Excellent work. So who did we lose? We lost one sellsword swordsman. Fine. That's what they're there for. They're there to they're they are there to die. Okay. So moving on. Oh, let's see what that is. Uh, it's not better than mine. But I know some people who may like it. Okay, so desperately trying to go and sell some of these goods. I need to make room for some stuff, so let's get rid of these items. And that for that. Come on, cheap, yes. Okay. The companions. Okay, so 
<laughs> Another quick save here. Okay, so we are going to make it there. We're going to make it there before the end of this episode. No, no, not another. I mean, I like... I like... <sighs> Come on, guy. Bring it. So... Where are they coming? There they are. Come on, archers. <sighs> They're wearing us down. They're wearing us down. I know it. I know it. We, we're going to make it, though. Uh, look at all that cavalry. Good job. Nice. My men are giving him the business. Oh, come on. Come on, men. Do it for house rain. Haha. <laughs> oh. Dude had some good armor, I suppose. Oh, someone got hit in the face. That guy. Alright. Hey, old man. Come here. Hey, old man. Come here, old man. I see, I see what you're doing. Everybody charge. Because, old man, you're going to have to... Oh, you want some of this? No, you're running away. I can see. Yep. See you later, buddy. Excellent job, men. They try to knock us down, but they can't. So three killed. <sighs> this is getting rough. This is getting rough. My capacity is filled up. Uh, let's spend some of this money. Let's upgrade these guys. Uh, pikemen, yes. Veteran longbowmen. Excellent. What do we get? Another decent horse. Well, at least my men, the two companions I do have, are, uh, oh no, there's another one. We will make it. We shall make it. Keep close to the shore. Must make it to Blanky Town. Of course, our our village of Greencrest. Oh, who are we? Three men. Those are honorable. Exit. So let's check out the Tavern of Planky Town, which is pretty cool because look what this guy's doing. This, this guy's sitting down. Yes, he's sitting down. <laughs> it is. It's pretty cool. Hey, Jasper Rivers, I bet I can't afford you. Look. She's sitting down. It's amazing. So, uh, kudos to the mod developer. Uh, fantastic job um, on the mod. This is probably the thing I've been most impressed with. We have people that are actually sitting down in a tavern. Isn't that crazy? Who would have thought? Um, I mean, this almost looks like something from Bannerlord 2. That's how... This is how, how beautiful this is looking. So anyway, I'm going to sell some... Uh, some of my prisoners to this ransom broker and uh, in the next episode we'll talk to Jasper Rivers and see how much he is and we'll continue uh, with our quest to recapture the honor of House Rain. but I'd like to thank you for joining me on A Clash of Kings if you enjoyed this episode subscribe to my channel press that like button leave comments I really appreciate you joining me and we'll see you next time